Ojo. <risa> Baby, be careful with the cake. Patan. <risa> <risa> Hi there foodies, today is the day that my husband is going to prepare us a cake um, and it will be a carrot cake. So let me just um, go through the ingredients with you. Empty bowl of course and then here we have one tablespoon of um, baking powder and then one tablespoon of baking soda and a tip of a tablespoon of um, nutmeg don't use too much and here we are having almond nuts toasted almond nuts um two tablespoons of um cooking oil we are going to use four eggs yeah four eggs it's a cup of sugar one cup of sugar um 250 slash two it's a uh, 125 gram of butter this should be three cups of, um, of carrots and then we are going to use two and a half or two cups of flour so let's start baking first we are going to start off with the dry ingredients We need three cups. I uh, just decided to make a big uh, cake. So, no, yeah, two sides, <laughs> two cakes, and then just make one big cake. So, we'll use the normal, normal cake, uh, sponge cake recipe. three cups so we are going to sift this sift the flour it allows the the cake to be airy and not clumped
going to save that until it's finished. Returning the flour into the mixing bowl. Uh, we are going to add sugar. Make a hole in the middle of the, the bowl. Yep. Add sugar. One, one cup and a half. Add the baking powder and the nutmeg. Add the nuts. Then you stir it in. I'm actually giving instructions. You are supposed to do this by yourself. Now we are going to add the butter. Well. One tablespoon of uh, vanilla essence. Don't beat them in the bowl. The shells might fall in the bowl. Beat them from the side. Uh, the milk and then you stir with the spatula spatula You fold, 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 yes, like that, yes. Clean the sides and then you fold. Then you fold it in. We'll be adding the carrots. In the cups, among these the cups and see how many cups it is.
shake it. I see you with the flower, just like you were doing the flower. No, you are not happy. Yeah. Sure. The hands are clumsy. <laughs> Clumsy hands. Oh my gosh, let me help you. Okay, we throw me a Now it's done. Now it's going to be transferred into the oven. In the middle, shift it backwards. Still. Shift here. So it's going to bake for 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. Yep, it's going to bake for that long. You come on now, Japan? No, I don't know. Now you have to read yourself. <laughs> Baby, be careful with the cake. <laughs> that was savage. <laughs> so they are fluffy. You see, I'm pressing. Uh, they are fluffy and ready to be dressed. Um, one mistake that he did yesterday. He did not um, take out the cake as soon as the timer, as soon as the timer went off. He let it cool in the oven, which is a mistake. You always have to take it out, let it cool outside, or else it will sunk because the oven is still hot and the and the heat is going down. So the cake will also sunk with the heat going down. So preferably. Not preferably, it's a must, you must take it out, let it cool on the countertop, in the pan for 10 minutes and then you take it out after 10 minutes or else it will also just, it will get moist beneath and it will be soggy. So that's the two treats to baking. I cut the tops off, so I'm going to make a tea and start having cake. Um, at this stage, I was about to dress the cake for him, but the boss asked that uh, we should be patient because he'll be dressing it when he returns home. So I just took out the butter to be at room temperature ready for him to mix uh, with the icing sugar. And he used a little bit of cream too. 